see what see. the Las Vegas mayor said about the- I did. <laughs> I did. She said they should just fucking stay in Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> She's basically, basically, it was, like, it was you. it was funny the way she phrased it too, because it was like, it was it was almost like a uh, like when you break up with your girlfriend or whatever, and you try to get with a new girl, but your new girl can tell that you're still completely into your old girl. She's just like, yeah, I think you just need to go try to like work things out with her. Like you're not <laughs> actually ready to move on. You don't really want to be out of Oakland. You just like the idea. She's like, he gave him all this incentive to be downtown, give him money breaks, all this shit. And they didn't want it. She's like, I don't really think they want to be out of Oakland. They should just go back to Oakland. I was like, and it's Damn. so crazy to hear her say that because you're hundred percent right. She's just like, they want a stadium on the water. Yeah. Just go back to Oakland where you can have your stadium on the water. I don't know why you're trying to come to Las Vegas. And she, they, she's walked it back since. And she's like, I can't wait to, for a baseball team in Las Vegas. Like, <laughs> maybe that'll be the Las Vegas A's. I don't know. It's like, well, it kind of sounds like it's going to be the Las Vegas A's. But then like, the Oakland mayor came out and was like, you bucked, like you told us you wanted this $55 billion thing with like residential area and commercial area and a park and all this district around the stadium. And then you signed this like lease on a lease that's on a land lease in Las Vegas. And if that's what you would have done here, we could have already been building the new stadium by now, but you yeah. didn't want that here. You wanted that in Las Vegas, but then you wanted this crazy thing here, but then he doesn't really want to go to Las Vegas. Dude, this is such a mess. And now it's basically come down to where the owner of the A's is essentially just going to have to sell the team. And the new owner is going to have to figure something else out because he has no, they have nowhere to play after this season. <laughs> can't play in Oakland and they can't play and they don't have a place in Vegas. Like the team is homeless. I've never seen a homeless major league baseball <laughs> team. Uh, they're and experiencing we have that homelessness, now. Michael experiencing homelessness. Okay. Don't put that label on them. Correct. Uh, they're, they're unhoused. Jeez. It's an unhoused, an unhoused team. franchise. Uh, but yeah, they, they do not have a home in Oakland and they do not home, have a home in Las Vegas. Imagine. And it seems like neither city wants them now. Imagine living out your dream and and getting to play Major League Baseball and you get there and you play for the fucking A's and they don't have a fucking place to play. They don't know where they're going to be in the next five to ten years. No clue. Like, I can't imagine doing all the work it takes to make it to Major Leagues and be a Major League Baseball player. And it's like, yeah, I play for the A's, but this shit's worse than when I was in the fucking minors because, you know, at least they had a place to play every fucking game. <laughs> I, Sarah Wade, I love this suggestion. Her solution? Just all road games. All road games. Just all road games. That's all you got all year long. There's just, there's just, just a traveling circus. They do have yeah. that elephant as their, like – auxiliary logo like there's a the hard like globe trotters of the yeah. mlb just only not good or entertaining except they, yeah exactly <laughs> awful no i know what's gonna happen how come this, it, go ahead Mookie, sorry. Say, how come the saudis haven't just swooped in and bought them out by now are they do they think their value can drop even lower so they can get it for cheaper it's, it probably will drop lower like we <laughs> saw the orioles get sold the orioles are a competent franchise with a stadium Shit. deal in place like that is and they only went for 1.72 billion. So, like, you're, you're gonna. Dude, I think we can cobble back enough back. together to buy the A's. Like, we very show. well could. Like, Craft uh, Root Sports owns the A's. We're gonna have to battle with the Oakland Bees because I think the Oakland Bees <laughs> oh, might be the right. more profitable franchise in Oakland now. Dude, we talked about it when Kyler Murray was trying to decide, like, should he go baseball or football? And we we're like, you got to go baseball. Why wouldn't you go oh, baseball? Yeah, and he got drafted, he by, was the drafted A's. by the A's. He made the <laughs> smartest decision. Kyler Murray did it right. He went, yeah, he went to the NFL that's true. just to avoid Oakland. Amazing. Maybe he saw the writing on the wall. He's like, this franchise ain't going to even have a fucking home in a few years. I'd rather go play for the Cardinals. Yeah, the NFL Cardinals, not not the St. Louis Cardinals, the, the NFL they're a, Cardinals. They're the a Bid franchise with their the shit Bidwell together. The Bidwell family. Yes, the Bidwell family, known for keeping it together. I'm, I'm going to go play there. God damn. I would like to play. The, the A's are like, the A's are like, <laughs> the A's are like a baseball team, but if Mookie did an Italian accent for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
standard of excellence right there. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!